Dijon's own fate, European ambitions may have fallen away last weekend, but Gangon arrived at the Stade Gaston Gerard looking to keep theirs alive. The Bretons started week 36, five points adrift of Nice in sixth. That would be enough for Europa League football, provided PSG don't suffer the shock of all shocks against Les Herbières in Tuesday's Coupe de France final. Olivier D'Orio's 13th place, Dijon, have secured a third consecutive season in France's top flight. And despite defeat to Bordeaux ending their slim Euro dreams, we want to see if they can improve on 16th place last term. And the home side made a positive start. Kwon Chang Hoon wanting to hit 10 goals in a league season for the first time since 2015 at Suwon Blue Wings in his native South Korea. And coach Antoine Kumbare trying to get his message across but clearly fell on deaf ears. South Korean through on goal, and this time hitting the back of the net. Chang Hoon is World Cup bound. Striker with four goals in his past six Liga and Conferama outings. Gangon blew a two goal lead in the capital but still took a point off champions PSG. They were struggling to impose themselves here, although Nicola Beneze wasn't far away. A stunning chipped leveller. Well, Dijon wanted to bounce back after two straight heavy defeats to Lyon and Bordeaux against the gang on side. They may have missed out on a first Le Pac win since 2001, but we're still on a five-match unbeaten streak. Kumbare's men had won the last two meetings in Brittany 4-0, but Chang Hoon gave warning Dijon were looking to snap that sequence at their home. But it looked like their wastefulness would be punished as Gangong drew level. Felix Eboe Eboe. So good, they named him twice. Heading home. A sumptuous cross. Left all alone, the former PSG youngster. In his first top flight goal. And yet Dijon responded so positively. Cedric Yamperi. Third of the season since the former Bordeaux defender returned to France. To short spells in Russia and Cyprus. Dijon looking to wrap up the three points. Name Slitte playing in. Leo Tavares could keep his curling effort down. The fans were certainly enjoying their day in the sun. Dijon had plenty of opportunities to try and put the game to bed. Name Slitte doing all the hard work and then slicing final effort wide. He was finally able to continue his hot scoring streak. Tavares with a look up. Nice ball back. City had to work hard for the ball. The third match running. He scored. Four goals in that three game sequence. Six overall for the season. And no way back. For the visitors, gang gone. Delight in the stands. Dijon, a fantastic 3-1 win.